What are the top five Samantha Carter episodes? You'll find out right after this. Hey everybody, I'm Taylor and I'm the Stargate Guy, where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. Today we're doing a top five list of the most character developing episodes for Samantha Carter. So although Sam seeing Samantha under pressure uh, was really, really, really nice, it didn't really do much for her character. So let's count down the top five episodes that really developed Samantha Carter's character and had long-term ramifications. Starting in with number five, season seven, episode 13, Grace. Now, this is when Sam was alone on the Prometheus, and this is when she uh, banged her head. She basically had a concussion, and this is when she really came to terms with herself and with her relationships in regards to the people around her, her father, Jacob, and most importantly, her relationship with Jack, and really understanding to herself how much he really means to her and how much she really needs for herself to find some sort of romantic relationship. Number four, season seven, episode 15. Now, this is when those realizations to herself really came true and why she really started dating Pete Shanahan uh, in the episode Samaria. Now, although her relationship with Pete uh, did not last all that long, it was nevertheless a very important relationship. This is when she really understood that she needed somebody. She needed somebody outside of the SGC, someone where she can have a quote-unquote normal life with. And Pete kind of filled that void. Um, and he, unfortunately, was a, a victim of her need for a relationship, but her need for a relationship with a specific person and not just anyone. Number three, season four, episode five, Divide and Conquer. Now, I know we've been harboring upon relationships uh, a lot here for the, the first three episodes in this. Although Sam is really a Wonder Woman and is extremely smart and is extremely empowered and is an amazing scientist, one of the things that really drived her character was not just the science, was not just the military aspect, but it was also her deep need for a relationship. And this is why a whole category of fans were just about Sam and Jack's relationship, romantic relationship. And it was a common theme throughout the entire series, uh, even into season 9 and 10. And so Divide and Conquer is a landmark episode where Sam admits openly to Jack how she really feels about him and vice versa. This is when they admit that they do have feelings for each other that goes way above what they're supposed to have or as members of the military serving in the same unit. A pinnacle point from recognizing how they feel and at that point still trying to keep it professional. Number two, season one, episode 15, Singularity. Now, this is an episode where Sam meets Cassandra or known as Cassie, uh, where her entire population her, her all of her friends all of her family was killed by the Gwawold Nerti and she was the only survivor um, and was implanted with a device to hopefully uh, destroy the Tari or at least the Tari Stargate and Sam formed such an emotional attachment to this little girl who experienced this horrific tragedy in her life I can't even imagine witnessing all of my family and all of my friends and everyone I ever knew die and not knowing how or why and then going to another planet with these strangers. I can't even fathom that. And here Sam developed this amazing relationship with Cassie, which a relationship that she kept throughout the entire show and we go back to it a couple times. Even though Dr. Fraser was the one who actually adopted her and raised her, the, this relationship with, with Cassandra was extremely important to Sam. I know we're talking about relationships a lot, but understanding basic human needs. Basic human needs are things such as food and water and shelter and love. And so Sam developing that last aspect is really vital to her character, not just the science, not just the military, but the relationships as well. And now here's a few honorable mentions. <laughs>
And now finally, the number one defining episode with Samantha Carter is actually a two-parter, season two, episode 11 and 12, Tok'ra part one and two. These are the episodes that are critical to Sam's character and that had a vast, lasting impact. These are the episodes where Sam came to terms with a new identity. Uh, before, in, in the line of duty, uh, several episodes before, she was in, uh, forcibly taken over by a Tok'ra, which is uncommon. Um, and this is when she really realized what that meant in the long term. This is when she finds out more about who she is. Because once a person blends with a Tok'ra symbiote, they really become one. And so this is Sam's opportunity to find out more, not about just... Uh, the Tok'ra that, that was in her, Jolinar, but also herself, because this is now her. Jolinar and Sam are forever one, continuing on. There's a reason why she has the protein marker. That is the reason why she was able to use Guowu technology, which comes in very handy later on, including saving Kronos' life and therefore a massive treaty uh, between the Tari and the Guowu, well, really, the Guowu, and the Asgard, but the Tari played a big role in there. But also her dad. These are the episodes where her dad was able to have a second shot at life. Where she was able to help to heal the relationship, the divide that happened between her and her father. These are where she is really able to bring him into her life. And they are able to bond and connect from here on out. And... You know, speaking as somebody who was close to my dad because of Stargate, and now he's gone, I now have a new understanding of this episode. She was so afraid to lose her dad that she really went out on a limb and brought her dad into her world and gave him a second chance and gave her a second chance to get to know them. And after that point, their relationship was the best. So let me know what your top five Samantha Carter episodes are in the comment section down below. Let me know how I'm wrong, because I very might be wrong. Um, thank you to everyone who gave me a cup of coffee this week to help keep the channel going. You guys are amazing. You're the ones that help keep the channel going. Thank you very much, uh, specifically to Tyler, who keeps giving me uh, several cups of coffee each month. Dude, you are amazing, and you make a huge difference in this channel. Uh, if you are not already, go ahead and subscribe. Great videos are coming out every week where I talk to you about everything and anything Stargate. You can go ahead and click right over here for another awesome top five video. Or you can click right over here for some more Stargate awesomeness. And until next time, I'll see you on the other side.